Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to transfer music from your iPod onto your iTunes library. Just in case maybe your computer crashed and now you've lost all your songs, that can be quite a pain. This is kind of a long and confusing process, but it's totally worth it, especially if you've lost all your songs. So let's jump into it. First thing you want to do is plug in your iPod. Once you've done that, go to My Computer. Click on your iPod. And as you can see now, there are four folders in your iPod folder. But there's one more folder that's hidden that contains all your music. So you want to go to Tools, Folder Options, View, and go right down here to Show Hidden Files and Folders. Click it, hit Apply, hit OK. And as you can see now, this faded folder comes up that says iPod Control. Click on that. And now you want to go to music. And all of these folders is your music. So you click in one, let's see. See, these are all your, this is all your music right here. And they got these little codes that iTunes will encode it into in order to put it into your iTunes library. So normally what you would do is make a new folder. We'll just call it music. Open that folder. And you click in you click in the iTunes music folder with all the folders in it. You're going to hit control A and that'll select all the folders. Now you can just drag all the folders into this one folder. Now that's going to take a very long time. It took me about an hour to do. But I have 49 folders. You might have more, you might have less. Anyways, I'm just going to drag one in for the sake of example. I'm going to drag folder 2 in. And I'm not even going to let it go all the way. I'm just going to cancel it just to get a couple of files in there. Okay, that's good. So, after you after all the files are in there. You can just you can minimize this, close out of all these folders, and then you want to open iTunes. Now that you've opened iTunes, you're gonna want to go to Edit, Preferences, and it'll normally be here. You're gonna want to go to Advanced, and the first thing you want to do when you get here is make sure that your iTunes music folder location is set to my documents my music iTunes iTunes music hopefully you haven't changed that because I'm pretty sure that is the default um, music location uh, when iTunes first downloads if I'm not mistaken so make sure that's there next thing you want to do is click this thing right here keep iTunes music folder uh, uh, organized excuse me and this will pretty much organize all your iTunes music. So you click that, you hit OK. So once you've done that, once you've done that, you want to go. You're gonna want to. You can minimize iTunes. Well, for that, you're gonna minimize iTunes, and you're gonna go to this path. So minimize iTunes. Go my documents. My music. iTunes. And iTunes music. Your folder the folders and the files. Now what you want to do is open that music file music folder that you made earlier and drag that folder into the iTunes music and now it's there and the final thing you want to do is right click on the folder you just dragged into your iTunes music folder hit properties and this down here this hidden box will be checked you're going to want to uncheck so that um, iTunes can read it and hit apply this will come up, just hit OK. 
then OK. Connects out of that. Go back to iTunes. Now you can go File, Add Folder to Library, and go to My Documents, My Music. Uh, where's iTunes? iTunes, iTunes Music, and then find that folder. There it is, F2. Okay. If you look up here, it adds it all. And that's all you gotta do. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching.